three property mistakes you don't want to make. I don't know if you've read the story about me and Danny O'Neill and the whole strawberry stealing incident, and if not, you can read about that. But to follow on from that story reminds me of three mistakes property developers often make. The rest of the story goes like this. I ditched Danny in the street that morning as I made what turned out to be a cracker of a decision to not go ahead with what eventuated be the most disastrous strawberry heist of the year. Turned out that old Mrs Bateman had the nose of a hound and was poised and ready to pounce on who she had nicknamed the Smith Street Strawberry Stealer. Danny, thinking he was in stealth mode, snuck through the fence and as he inched towards the strawberries, heard a snap and felt a massive pain shoot through his toes. Shoo, he screamed. He looked down to see the jaws of a rusted rat trap gripping on his toes with mighty pressure. Within seconds, there stood old Mrs. Bateman at her back door, rolling pin in one hand, and Danny was pretty sure he could see smoke shooting out of her nostrils. Ha! she huffed. Got you! She stormed over, grabbed Danny by the ear, and dragged him to her kitchen table. Needless to say, Danny was in a world of both pain and trouble. Old Mrs. Bateman called up Mrs. O'Neill, and the two women decided Danny was to be given a hefty punishment of mowing Mrs. Bateman's lawns for a year. That will teach the boy, scoffed old Mrs. Bateman. So now you're wondering, hey Bob, where are the three property development stakes you lured me into in this email? Well, here they are. Number one, thorough due diligence is one of the most important things you can do when it comes to property development. Had Dunny done this, he would have known that old Mrs. Bateman had set the rat traps to catch the Smith Street strawberry sealer. Number two, there should always be a fair trade. Nobody should feel ripped off, be that the landowner, a joint venture partner, or your builder. Danny was in this for himself, and that is never a good strategy. And number three, at the end of the day, if you don't want to end up mowing lawns, it's best to walk away from a deal that does not sit well with you. I was onto it and walked away that day. Just like bad numbers if something doesn't stack up, right? Don't go ahead.